And what was said on Twitter was even more vicious. Here with Reaction is the co-host of The Five, Bob Beckel, and the host of Tommy on The Blaze. That's Tommy Laren is with us. You're not going to defend that. I've known you for no, years. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I, I thought it was... Uh... I, I felt so badly for that woman. You know? I, I wanted to cry. And uh, it was, uh, you know, it's times like that when, when uh, I think, you know, you could argue about, you know, the father disagrees with the mission and all the rest. It doesn't matter. The guy was an American hero and he went in and he died. And at a minimum, the idea of being able to stand up for five minutes and applaud his widow seems to me to be perfectly legitimate. But, it, you know, Tommy, it, all these liberal snowflake lunatics, that was so mean, cruel, and heartless to say these things. And I'm sitting there and I'm listening. This guy died. These men and women fight, bleed, and die. So they have the right to be ignorant and stupid. And that lack of appreciation, I think, bothered me the most in their comments. Well, how condescending. That's what I first thought when I hear them saying that she's a political prop. That's why she's there for Trump's ratings. No. No. To, to talk down to her like that, to make her seem as if she's an infant, that she doesn't know what she's there for, clearly they could learn a thing or two from Karen Owens. And I would, I would encourage all the women out there that are holding up their F Trump signs and they're marching in their little pink hats, I would encourage them to look at someone like Karen Owens and see what a real woman is and what real sacrifice looks like because I don't think they get it yet. My, my heart goes out to her. What a, um, what a tough thing that anybody has to go through. Uh, let me play Rosie O'Donnell. Donald. And she, if this represents Bob Beckel's party, you, I think they're doomed. We'll get Bob's reaction to this. Uh, yeah. Even if our major media companies will not call him a liar, we will. He lies. He lies. He lies. He lies. To Donald Trump and his pathetic band of white, privileged, criminal businessmen. with Russia. The game is over. So that's your part. That's Rosie wait, wait, Mar. Wait a minute. Rosie excuse Mar Moore, Ashley Judd, yeah. Madonna. Wait a minute. And your liberal friends that sat on their hands last night, that is you know, your party. You know, it's run all, by the loony left. Can you imagine waking up next to her every day? No. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> no, not the, exactly. Uh, uh, well, Tommy, let me explain something to you. I, I've been around. I was around for the Lincoln Second Inaugural. Uh, uh, and you, you're uh, for the Lincoln second inaugural. Yeah, I've been around. You've that been around long. a little bit. But you know something? You make the same mistake that Hannity makes, which is you pick out two or three liberals and you make us all that way. And it's just uh, unfair, uncouth, and sad. And, and I think a good idea, just to, if I can give you a little bit of advice, I've been at this business a long time. If I were you, I'd be a little careful about generalizing about people. Well, I'm looking at Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the, the tape. You know what's interesting, Tommy? Yeah, but Julia, it's tape of four but, things. Tommy, what's interesting is the Democrats that sat on their hands when the president's talking about jobs last night and doing things that everybody should agree on, I think they are responding and reacting to the loudest voice in their party. They're afraid of those people. They, they, oh, own, they own those people in the chamber last night on the Democratic yeah, side, is my contention. More scares the hell out of me, I can Tommy? tell you that. Sean, what they're doing is they're reminding those Democrats that voted for Donald Trump that were kind of in between, didn't know which way to go. They're reminding them exactly why they cast their vote for Donald Trump. And them sitting on their hands while President Trump is talking about American jobs and infrastructure, the fact that they're sitting there and the fact that they're groaning when he talks about securing our borders. It just goes to show well, why he is the president of the United States and their party lost. You know, you know, can, I, can I just uh, say one thing at the end of uh, he gave a good speech and, of course, expectations being what they were. But at the end, he said, let's all get together and unify. This is from the man who for 18 months ripped this country apart. Now, I, he picked out enemies. He picked out all kinds of enemies. He was cruel. And, and, and you guys and, 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 and people on your side call him a Nazi and Hitler and a fascist. I, I and certainly did. not You say our side. Would you stop doing that? You want to be that is your side. You want to be, you you're, you're, you're be you're the lump you with Alex Rose or they're, whatever they're, that idiot's name is. Alex Rose? Who's Alex Rose? Uh, 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 Alex, can I just say that, something? Fat can, slob who does the. We talking about Michael Morgan? No, no, no. That oh. guy that Trump's from, the radio guy. All right, Tommy, we'll give you the last word. 
Uh, I think it's a great day to be an American. I think that was one of the best speeches I've heard. I'm very proud that, yes, and the left is going to hate this. The left in its entirety is probably going to hate this. But guess what? That is our president, and I couldn't be happier. Well, you've got, you got a lot more speeches in front of you, and you'll hear a lot more. All right. Thank you both. Coming up, more from my recent interview with President George W. Bush. Up next, we'll meet one of the American heroes featured in the 43rd president's new book, One of Our Heroes. Find out what the president's